thank you so much, uh, members of the press and the, uh, the leaders. Uh, His Excellency Mike Mbuvi Sonko, the former governor of Nairobi, together with the member of parliament in Bakasi, uh, Babu Wino, and the president of LSK, and all the other uh, people who have come today. I want to thank you because we had um, a very, very bad experience this morning. It, was, it happened immediately after church service. Then uh, people came from nowhere and stopped us, blocked the whole road. Then they started abducting me in the presence of my children who were traumatized. It was a very terrifying experience, which I, I want to say that um, we can be of different opinion. Some of us, we have pronounced that we are anti the finance bill. And we've been saying reject the finance bill. And that is the position. Don't use intimidation to, to try to, to silence us so that you, you perpetuate whatever you want to do with that finance bill. And I'm wondering, one question that I must ask, why is it that this finance bill is so important that we've lost so many lives, you're abducting so many people, you are still punishing all of us, because you just want to, fa to, to, to pass this finance bill. It is so unfortunate that it is, it is happening in, a, in, a, in this century. All we are saying is that we have said reject the finance bill because of the issues that are in that finance bill. And Kenyans are not supporting it. I don't know how long it, it, it will take for the leadership to understand that you cannot force us to have punitive taxation measures when Kenyans are living in abject poverty because of the cost of living which has skyrocketed to high levels. You spoke about Mamambogas, you spoke about Boda Bodas, you spoke about Juakali sector, but you have forgotten it and now you are focused on punishing more the less fortunate in the society. You cannot intimidate us into silence. And I want to say I'm coming out strong. We will follow what the, 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 whatever measures they want us to say. We were coming back tomorrow or we come even the day after tomorrow. But one thing that I want to promise you, it will, we will never be intimidated to silence. We will continue fighting for the rights and the citizens of this republic because we believe unless we speak about these issues, many people will not speak about it. You can see we have a parliament where they've already compromised most of the members of parliament. They are taking money instead of uh, making uh, decisions based on what the common one AG wants, they do it to, 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 to reflect the positions and the opinions by, of their bosses. But we want to say that we must continue with this struggle to ensure that no punitive taxes are imposed upon the common one AG. Allow me to... to, 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 to...